According to the Online Historical Encyclopedia of Programming Languages, approximately 8,945 coding languages have been created. However, not all of them are widely used or equally popular. In 2022, like every year, Stack Overflow published its developer survey in which they collected data and analyzed the most loved, hated, and popular tools and programming languages. The final report is based on a survey of more than 73,000 software developers from 180 countries around the world. In this episode, we are going to explore the most loved programming languages based on this survey. Before starting, don't forget to check out the links in the description if you want to join our developers online community. Let's start. Rust is probably not the most used programming language, however, it is the most loved. Rust is in its seventh year as the most loved language with 87% of developers saying they want to continue using it. Rust also ties with Python as the most wanted technology with TypeScript running a close second. It seems that developers who have the chance to work with Rust often fall in love with it and this explains why more than 85% of those who have used it confirmed their love. Rust stands out for its performance. It is an ideal language for performance critical applications as it offers strong memory and thread safety. This makes it an excellent choice for low-level systems programming, but not only. In addition to that, Rust has demonstrated its capacity to scale and run high-performance applications. For instance, Discord utilizes Rust for its services and can manage up to 5 million concurrent users. In a post published in their blog, Discord announced that they're moving away from Golong to Rust. Go didn't meet their performance targets as the company explained. Mozilla, the developer of the popular browser Firefox, has chosen Rust as the programming language to rewrite its browser. In fact, around 10% has already been rewritten in Rust. After Rust comes Elixir. Elixir is a dynamic, functional language for building scalable and maintainable applications. Elixir runs on the Erlang Virtual Machine, renowned for its ability to create low-latency, distributed, and fault-tolerant systems. This, combined with the efficient Elixir tooling, makes it an ideal choice for developers across a variety of industries, including web development, embedded software, data pipelines, and multimedia processing. Developers who have used Elixir found it a highly productive language and an absolute pleasure to work with. Similar to Rust, Elixir is not widely used. As such, finding resources and gaining knowledge about it can be difficult. Clojure comes next. Before understanding why it is one of the most loved programming languages, there is an important fact we should explore. Clojure was found to be the highest paying programming language. It topped the list of languages with the highest salaries. It has an average salary of $106,000. So this could be one of Thess' reason why it's so loved by developers. Essentially, Clojure is a dynamic and functional dialect of the Lisp programming language on the Java platform. Like other Lisp dialects, Clojure treats code as data and has a Lisp macro system. Clojure can be as fast as Java. Both are compiled to Java bytecode instructions and executed by a Java virtual machine. According to some, Clojure's release in 2017 was well-timed. Around this time, new forums such as Hacker News and Reddit were emerging. Paul Graham's ProLisp hype chamber was a major factor in the growth of these platforms. Reddit was written in Common Lisp, and Hacker News was written in Lisp, which imbued the early communities with Lisp sensibilities. These channels have become influential in driving programming language trends. Rust, Elixir, and Clojure. These are the most loved programming languages. However, they are not the most popular like Python and JavaScript. These languages, even though they are the most loved, have their cons. For example, their relatively smaller communities compared to other technologies made them less accessible to newcomers. But what does the future hold for Rust, Elixir, and Clojure? It's clear these languages are here to stay and gaining more traction. It'll be intriguing to observe how they develop and how they'll be employed in the future. With their increasing popularity, it's likely the developers working with them and the number of users using them will increase. 
that was five minutes programming in the upcoming episodes we'll continue our discussion of the most loved programming languages and also cover the least favored ones so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned see you tomorrow